Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to mirror your Android screen to your PC or Mac or even Linux. A lot of people ask me this question all the time, and it's pretty straightforward and simple. Sometimes you might want to view your Android phone screen on your computer. To do this, what you need to do is open up your phone and go into your settings and then go all the way down to it says about phone. Once you do this, click on there, and then what we want to do is go all the way down the bottom until you see. Uh, right down the bottom here, you should see a uh, build number. You want to tap on this uh, a few times until you see uh, you are now a developer. Once you've got that done, uh, you want to go back. So I'm going to go back here. And then once we get into the actual settings here, we're going to go down and we're looking for developer options here. Let me go ahead and find developer options. You can search for it if you want to. It should be listed down here somewhere in system. Just have a little quick look down here. It should be down here. There it is. Developer options. Click on there. And what we need to enable is we need to enable uh, this feature down here, which is to do with your USB. It's called USB uh, debugging. So make sure you enable that feature. Just toggle it on. Now we've got that feature on. We can click OK here to allow USB debugging. With that now enabled, we can uh, back out of this. And we now need to plug in our cable, which is our a type C connector here on this particular phone. This is an Android phone, uh, which is the Google Pixel uh, Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cable and we're going to plug it into the bottom of the phone and then plug that into our computer. Now you can do this wirelessly as well with the software that I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it this way for quickness. But if you want to see the other way doing it wirelessly, let me know in the comment section below because this software is open source and it's absolutely awesome. You can do quite a lot with it. It's this software here. The name is called SCRCPY, uh, but it stands for screen copy. And you can record the screen, you can display your screen, you can capture gameplay from your phone on your computer screen. You can do lots of stuff with this. If you want to see some more videos on this, then let me know in the comments section below. There's literally zero latency on this. You can really get a, a good uh, screen capture on here. So let's go ahead and we can download the application, which is for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. I'm going to be choosing Windows here. Once we click on this, it will give us an option to download 64-bit or 32-bit version. I'm on a 64-bit operating system here, which is Windows 11. I'm going to go ahead and download this version here. And you would just follow along if you're on other versions as well. This is the actual software here. I'm going to extract this into the same folder here. So let's go ahead and extract all. You will need some extraction software. I use 7-Zip on my computer. And now we've got that extracted. You should now see the folder here. We can now take a look inside. Now we don't need to install any software. So what we can do here is go down to where it says SCRCPY-NoConsole-VBS. So this one here, when we click on this, it's going to give us a notification on our phone. And once we get that notification, we need to allow it. And it should say allow USB a debugging. So we're going to allow this here. And you can always put always allow this to go through. And we're going to click allow here. And we can now head back to the desktop. And there we are. We might need to click on that one more time because we've allowed it. So let's go ahead and click on it one more time here. And you should see your phone uh, display up on your screen here. It will go full screen. And I'm just going to resize this down a little bit so we can see it a little bit more clearer. So now you can see we are easily mirroring our Android to our desktop or laptop without any sort of routing that we need to do on our system. It's working flawlessly here. There's no lag and it really is an easy way of doing it. So why would you want to mirror your Android phone screen to your PC? Well, there's plenty of reasons why you might want to do it. Maybe you want to share your media to a larger screen without uploading it, or perhaps you need to uh, quickly record the screen or display your screen, you can do that right here on a larger screen. So I'm going to download this game and get it installed and we will give this a go. And you can see here, I can play this full screen rather than looking at a small screen on my phone. I can also capture this screen if I wanted to with the same software and I'll show you how to do it. This game here is an absolute awesome game. It really is. Now this game is not easy. It's called Downhill and it's quite a good time waster. Uh, but if you've never played it before, then give it a download and have a play with it because it's absolutely awesome. It really is. It's not as easy as it looks. And uh, the courses get harder and harder 
And of course, you need to go faster, which makes it more uh, dangerous to play, obviously. So now we're going to try and recapture that screen. So we need to open up a terminal here using the open up terminal here batch file, which is actually in the folder here. So this will open up a prompt window. And from here, we need to give this a command. And I'll show you the command so you can get access to uh, all of the uh, commands that are inside here. It's the help command. So what we need to do is type SCR uh, CPY, and then you want to do a space dash dash, and then do help. And then push enter. And this will give you a long list of stuff that you can actually do. And there's a lot. Now, this is open source, so you can read all the code and you can see everything here. There's not hiding. Uh, any sort of malicious code in here. It's completely open source and free to use. And uh, I think it's absolutely awesome. It really is. So what we're going to do is we're going to record uh, the screen. Now you can record full screen, but we're just going to record this gameplay here. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to type SCR uh, CPY and then space dash R and then space. And then the name of the file, we're going to call it downhill because that's the name of the game dot MP4. And then once you push enter, that will start the capture and start recording the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see it starting to record once I push enter. So I've left the uh, prompt box open and we're now capturing the screen as we're playing this game. And uh, basically you should see a full recording of what we're doing here. I'm going to record my gameplay here and uh, I'll show you when it's done. And uh, it's quite a difficult game. It really is. Uh, but it's a really enjoyable game to play. So it's called Downhill 2, I think, this one. Uh, but what we're going to do is we'll get to the end and I'll show you exactly where the file is. It actually goes in the same directory of the actual program. So let's go ahead and close this off. So when I close the gameplay here, it will stop the capture. And you should see here in the command prompt here, it's actually copied all of that data there and it shows you the screen resolution and everything else that we've recorded. And you should see now that it's put it in that directory after we finished here. So now that's done, let's go to that folder and you should see a file called downhill.mp4 and that's the one we've just created. So I can push play here and there we go. It's recorded the screenplay. It's not recorded the desktop itself. It's actually captured the screen of the game itself. So it looks pretty cool and uh, as you can see, pretty awesome. And uh, I do like the way this works. So if you want to record some gameplay, it does record audio as well. I've muted the audio uh, because it's some sort of music on there. So I've recorded just the actual gameplay here and showing you. Uh, but yeah, pretty awesome. So if you're looking to display your screen on your PC or laptop, whether it would be a Windows PC or Linux PC or Mac OS, this will work perfectly fine. Anyway, that is going to be about it. If you want to see more on this, then let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Tell me what you want to see, and I'll be happy to make that content for you there. But it's completely open source. It doesn't install on your PC. You can delete that folder afterwards if you want to, and it'll all be gone. And all you need to do is disconnect your uh, actual phone. If you want to do this wirelessly, you can do as well. If you want to see that video, then let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to make that video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.